Hey guys and girls, and welcome to Crusader Kings 3, a Game of Thrones. Today, we're going to be starting ourselves a new series. This series will be replacing our current 7 stars series that I had going. Um, I'd kind of hit a wall with uh, enjoying it. Um, I just didn't know what to do. We were kind of in a bit of an awkward space, controlling a decent amount of territory, but... Not really being part of the Republic, because the only reason we did join it was to try and expand the borders, but we couldn't do that. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing as random characters throughout this series. I don't know how long it will go for, but it will allow us to cover pretty much everywhere that is available to us. So, let's get stuck straight into it, and I'm going to show you guys how it's going to play. I'm sure you guys already know most likely routes we're going to go, but let's get stuck into it. So we're going to randomly select a character by clicking this three times and that's who we're going to play as. One of those three characters, I got three refreshes. We're also playing during the Blackfire Rebellion just to spice things up a little bit. So let's get things going. Who is our first option? House Spicer. We're going to bypass this one mainly for the fact that we've already got a series going in the Westlands. I don't think we need another one as well. However, he would be half decent because he's ambitious, deceitful, and diligent, so he'd be willing to expand, but I think, yeah, we're going to bypass him and have another go. Next, we have House Crane. We got Zealous, Honest, and Arbitrary. Hmm. Wait, is he already at war with them? Is that what that represents? I'm not 100% sure. That is quite bizarre. Anyway, I think we're going to skip him and see what else we've got available. And finally, we have Dryside. I have no idea. He, she is brave, gregarious, and honorable. Oh, okay. She's 55 years old, so she's close to passing away. So I'm not too sure what we can do with her. Um, hmm. I think we're going to... You know what? Let's give it a go. This is part of the thing. Uh, sure. Okay. So we are playing here in Dawn. Our overlord is Lord uh, Ironwood. And... Yeah. Okay. So we don't really have much going for us. We've got a player heir who's already married to nobody. we got uh, another son who's married to another nobody, which is fine. We are married to a nobody. Okay. So I think we're going to just be focusing on... Our family expand, not maybe not expanding per se, but improving the three strings. I think that is, ah, oh, because we got strings. Okay, and our house word is house dry side was forged by the warriors, bravery, and that is very generic, and it's not the actual house words. Fair enough. Aspects, let us go. We are going to go as, hmm, I reckon we go as... The father. Plus one diplomacy and five opinion of us. Sure, why not? I think that will help us out a bit. We're going to go, of course, down the diplomacy routes and we will go. Let's go, Majesty Focus. So I think what our aim for this part of the series is we're going to probably. We can't go on a grand tour. Maybe hold a grand tournament would be a cool idea. Uh, commission Epic. Okay, we could commission an epic for 20 gold. That's not too bad. No point in using contraceptives. We're already to the point where we're not going to be able to have any kids anyway. Recruit dry terrain. Oh, desert warrior. Okay. Uh, really don't need that anyway either. I think we're going to commission a artifact. We are to the age where I think we would. Um, plus, we have also got the lifestyle perk going as well. A family epic. What I need is a classic tale of the grandeur of my family. A chronicle about the origins of the Dryside dynasty and how we are destined for greatness. I only need someone who knows how to tell a story. We can get Obra. She's a guest. Uh, exceptional. Exceptional. They're all exceptional. Um... I'm not going to get him. My scribes compose the epic. Or... Okay. Ah, oh, low chance. 
unpredictable chance. Okay, we're going to spend the 40 gold. That's all that gold. And we're going to get Obra to write our epic uh, story. Sure, why not? Like I said, that's going to cost us most of our gold, which is fine. Not going to request a loan. We're not going to send for a maester. We well, probably could have sent for a maester, but I'm not really too interested there. And we can declare war for slavery, but we're not going to because that would be pointless. Okay, so let us get this underway. Family epic. Perspective. I will gain claims on neighboring titles when this epic is done. I will gain more personal prestige. I will get more renown. Okay. Or piety. You know what? We're going to go family history. We're going to try and boost and see if we can get at least 500 renown before we die. I don't think we will, but you never know. So let's go to our council. We're going to replace him and replace him with our courier. Only because he's got 20, which is quite good. So you're fired. And we're going to go overseas realm. And plus one isn't too bad. So that's going to take us 418 months to get to 500. But I'm sure there's other ways we could probably get renowned as well. We are going to also focus on developing Drywell as well. Let's see if we can get someone slightly better. Sure, you're better. Congratulations, you've been sacked. 13 years, not too bad. And no point doing domestic because, well, we're by ourselves, so we might as well do foreign affairs. Um, everything else looks pretty dandy. Ooh, what could we do to boost? Chivalry, um... Hmm... What is learning? No, I reckon we're going to boost our diplomacy as well. Try and really ratch up uh, our prestige if we can. Okay, everything else is pretty good. So let's get this on the road. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with her, maybe. Ooh. So our son does have some land over there as well, which is quite good. So let's see if we can make an alliance with him, which we can. Excellent. And we can join our grant... Uh, I don't think we're going to be going on any grand tours. We're not much of a fighter, so I don't think there'd be much point going. Um, increased chance of producing an epic, uh, exceptional epic, reduced chance. Okay, it's going to put us into the negative, but we're, we're, we're willing to spend the gold that we don't even have, so that's okay. And we can arrange a betrothal. My niece. Okay. You're the... F okay, so our niece will eventually uh, become the Lady of Ironwood. So I'm happy with that. Sure, why not? And that guy's monstrous. Wow, why? Oh, because he's a giant. He's strong. Okay, fair enough. He's bisexual. Not that I really care about that. Okay. Uh, what's he like? He's wrathful, diligent, and arbitrary. Okay. So, we are the first in line to inherit that, but that doesn't really matter, and, okay. Because, so one, one son's going to inherit one, the other son's going to inherit the other. Wait, that is correct, yes, good. So what is our son like? He's honest, he's craven, and he's forgiving, fair enough, and the other son is shy, tempered, and ambitious. Okay, fair enough. So overall, not too bad. Okay, uh... Ooh, I want it good. And I want it now. An extra 10 gold. Sure, you know, we're gregarious, we're, you know... Oh, uh, no, that's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, Sure, we're willing to put the money into it. Like I said, it's not the greatest uh, way of going about it, because we are in debt, but that's okay. We're not going to be going to war with anyone either. Uh, you also means I can take back some of the salary payments. On completion, you'll receive a family epic book artifact, which improves vassal opinion. Sure, I shall... I, it should be shared with all my vassals. Okay, no worries. We get some prestige, which is fine. We don't get our gold back, which I'm not too worried about. Um, so we're no longer the Chancellor. Oh, how dare you. I'm not happy with that. And at last, an excellent epic. Has, uh, Obra has completed my family epic, and what a glorious chronic 
she has composed. It has hard drama, morale, conundrum, uh, what is it? Quandaries and tense duels. Everything my family has been forged from is in there. Even the part with the hewing of the mountain seemingly so far-fetched has become a touching moment outlying the destiny of my house. This may be the greatest chronicle ever written. So we get 75 right now, which is really good. Uh, we've become the owner of the Dry Side Chronicle and we get some prestige. So people like us and a little bit of prestige. I was hoping it would do something for right now, but that's okay. I'm willing to take that. And we're earning 1.6 per turn, which is really, well, per month, I should say. Um, my guest. So she's completed her quest. You know what? Sure, I also need you here. So she becomes our friend and she joins our court as well. I don't think she can get married. No, she's not. That's okay. We made a new friend. That's really good. Uh, can we start looking at befriending people? Sure, we're just going to go around and start befriending some people, I think. Especially our lord, that makes the most sense as well. And we'll probably do our future son-in-law. Or our son-in-law, I should... S Is he even our son-in-law? Uh, he's, like, married to my niece, so cousin-in-law or something like that. Anyway, a tragedy has occurred. Unfortunately, uh, yes, so Jaharis the second has inherited the throne. Um, of course, the rest of the family has died off. However, there is still... Melee's the monstrous to take care of, so we're going to activate him there. And everything else, I'm happy to leave alone. Just because there's not much else we can do to interact with them. So, gold, how are we going to sort this out? Not really. We're going to be just waiting around. There's not much to do. Kind of waiting for the war to end. I could hold a feast, I think. Uh, excellent. We have become friends. Well, that was quite easy. Oh, no. We've become... Well, he's forming a friendship with us. So, we're not quite friends yet. So, uh, I could declare, ask me to start a seduce. Can, I'm not even going to seduce. I just wanted to see if that was an option. It is. That's okay. Uh, offer guardianship. Me? Uh, no one really there worth it. Um, offer wardship. My niece to you. That would make sense. Um... Because she's marrying into the family as well, so it'd be good for her to get to know them. And I can't befriend him anymore. So we might as try and befriend uh, Lord Allman. He's going to become the new regent, sorry, the new lord eventually. Anyway, so sure, let's give that a crack as well. Excellent, excellent. He's happy to train my niece as well. And... Awesome, so she is being trained by them, because I thought that would make the most sense. Um, sure, you know what, we're going to give it away. We're going to give it to my son, I think. I was tempted to give it to Ovara, but she's just, like, she's my knight, but that's okay. I think we'd give it to our son. I think that would make the most sense. Okay, who's actually surrounding us? Uh, drink water? I know of Drinkwater. He's actually a player with the last name Drinkwater, which is kind of funny. Uh, I could take this land and then give it to my son. Which would be quite cool, giving him a little bit more territory. Ooh, would we be even able to do that? Uh, let's go contract and see what our contract is. Title, okay. So, we'll give you a bit more taxes. Sure. I think, and we'll keep our troops. Which is fine. That's good to see. You got no allies. We got at least one ally, which will give us enough troops, I think, to expand. I know we're honourable. We're trying, we're trying to do the right thing. I think the right thing would be to help our son ex to grow. Even though that would make him more powerful than our actual heir, which is kind of funny, but suppose that would probably be... Mm, you know what? We're going to go to that hunt. I think we would. 
We're not going to hire anyone. I don't think we really need to. And hopefully all goes well. It looks like she's drinking, not blowing a horn. So we're going to go to that hut. Okay, making camp. I've checked my gear and horse many times. It won't be long now. Okay, we like interacting with people, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we may not actually get a claim as well. I think we'll bypass that, only because she is honorable as well. And recreation, no. We're going to skip recreation. We're going to befriend... Uh... Who is he that we can kind of friend? Sure, Lady Sorella of Yearwood. She is our liege's. Wait, he's our. She's our. He's our liege. Did something happen? Oh no, he just is not. Is is not in uniform. That's okay. Let's try and befriend her. She's there, which would be good. I think that would make a little bit of sense as well. Okay, let's get out there. So, we are hunting antelope. Fair enough. Okay. Waiting for word from the scent hounds. The party rests in a shaded corpse. Shirella stands not too far off. This is my chance to impress her. Lady Sorella, how are you? It's not often we get a chance to talk. Hmm. Okay, so she's honest, arrogant, and chaste. Um, compassionate side. She's comp she's honest, I suppose. Uh, stewardship. What's her stewardship? Not very good. And you're she's not. I wouldn't say she's diligent. Probably honest. I think I pity these poor animals. I think we'll give give that a crack. Okay, she seems to have much in common with me. Relaxing. A Demirina in my company. I think I've won her over. So we're getting a closer friendship with her, which is quite good. Uh, they can get married, which is fine. We're going to accept that. Excellent. And we're then going to go back and continue our hunt. Lord Edgar's Huntsman says they know the place of the beast's covert and the nearby waterholes and grazings the antelope frequent. So be it. Okay. Let us push forward. However, there's a traveling bard. Um, okay, unfortunately that doesn't give us anything for now, but it does boost our, ooh, our prestige. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna pay the 10 gold. It's gonna put us in debt again. We lose some stress and we get, what is it? Plus two, well, plus point two. Party and prestige, sure, why not? And why is that going up? Living members, uh, okay, oh, because we're marrying some people off, that's fine as well, excellent. Splud splendid evening indeed. So the other question is, um, we're gonna try and marry off any more of our family members if we have to as well. I'm not too sure if we have any, but we'll see how things go. The rebels will pay dearly for this, definitely. Ooh, she's, he's stayed neutral. Well, we're going to get, we're going to stay neutral as well then. You know, we're, mate, we're, we're brave, so we're tempted to join uh, the king, uh, but we're honourable as well. So I think we would be, you know, we would take up his side. So if he's staying neutral, we'll stay neutral as well. Okay, let's continue on with this hunt. You cannot win them all, and unfortunately the hunt has come to the end. We have gained the trait hunter, which is fine. I'm not too worried about that. We lost some stress. We gained some prestige. We gained some uh, legitimacy, which is always good. And we spent some time with somebody we were trying to become friends with. So overall, not too bad. Okay. So, children, how many more family members do we have? And I'm assuming they're all married. So you're married, you're married, you're married. You are not, you are not, and you are not. So that's okay. Let's see if we can find somebody for our... Are they with us or with... Okay, they are here as well. So let's see if we can make some arranged marriages. 
sure, my granddaughter, that would be quite good. We don't get an alliance with him, but that's okay. He's going to become the heir, which is fine. Oh, uh, hang on. Drink water? Yes. Okay, sure. We'll accept that. I'm happy with that. And I'm hoping that may give us more renown as well. Probably because they're not married. Yeah, because we need lords by marriage. Okay, so let's find a lord then. Um, what about you marrying... You would not accept that. What happens if I decide to sway you? We're going to start swaying. We're going to stop befriending him. Can we actually befriend you instead? Sure, we're going to start befriending him and then we can make an arranged marriage with them as well. I think that would actually be quite useful. Like I said, we do have some gold. And we have another granddaughter, which is fine. And we got a perk, so we're going to go heart of the family, so everyone likes us a little bit more as well, especially close family members. Okay. Uh, who are you? Gets a weak hook on me. Opinion. Gets a weak hook. Um, don't really want to get a weak hook, but sure, why not? Excellent. Uh. We've become friends. Awesome. That was really quick. Okay, that's your daughter. You, she's already married off. What about you? You actually have a title, so arrange your marriage. That would actually be quite good. With my granddaughter and you. Oh, because you own your own land. Uh, damn. Okay. What about you? Would you be up for that instead? You will be. Excellent. So we're going to marry you off. Does that give us anything else? Because technically... Oh, because I suppose they're not married yet either. So that's fine. Um, hmm. Direct opinion. Dread. He gains wounded. Lord. He likes me a lot more. Sure. I have more important men to impress. Yes, sure. Okay, why not? And we become friends. Excellent. Awesome. And there's no more people to marry off either. Because um, everyone else is a bit too young. So, next question is, we still have a few more family members to try and marry off. You're infertile, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But you... You will not accept it. Why... Matrilineal? Yeah, I'm not even going to do that because I don't know how far down the tree that will go without getting further into it. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. We've got a little bit of gold. Not much we can really do my, uh, do anything with. I'm not going to take his land off him because that'd be a bit silly. He gains an opinion of me, which is fine. I would like to, would have liked to probably expand or build something. Let's see if we can try and build something. Um, so he's joined the Night's Watch, which is fine. So he lost. That was actually really quickly. Sometimes it can drag out on forever. So we need about 95 gold to build anything worthy of value. Well, it's a watchtower. It's not even worthy of value either. Itself doesn't bring in any gold. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. They've got a bunch of daughters, which is okay. Uh, my other son has a bunch of daughters as well. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we're going to have to break that. Because uh, I didn't realise, and I keep forgetting. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to be good. People aren't going to like us, but that was my screw-up, unfortunately. I forgot, because it's... Uh, the women will inherit, so he'll inherit, and then she... She'll inherit first. So, I forgot about that. Sure, always glad to lend a hand. And a very... We were very lucky at the time. So, we may gain wounded. I don't think we did, which is good. So, we're going to arrange a marriage. Matrilineal. 
I can make... No, we're not going to do... Ash... Ooh, we could combine the lands. Oh, but you're a... Yeah, see, I kind of screwed that up as well. Bugger. That's okay. Not much I can do about that now. Uh, yeah, because I keep f forgetting. We want to find a spouse. Matrilineal. Who are you? Oh, you're just some gentleman. Okay. Uh, no one really. Let's go alliance power, to tell you the truth. Okay, honey wine, crown, salt, dornish. You're a bit old, but that would give us an alliance. Oh, but you're lowborn, though. Nothing I could against lowborn, but... You know what? I think we just leave it alone. And the good thing is, we accomplished what I wanted. I wanted 500, but this is actually what I wanted. Was just to get at least one point in uh, the legacy. So, we are going to go... Hmm. Let's go Vibrant Court, I reckon. Or Law. Popular Opinion, Hunting and Feasting. Sure, we're going to go mostly uh, fair to unlock of that. I think that would be a good idea. That seems to fit our character. Kind of screwed up with that uh, over here. And unfortunately, I cannot break um, that marriage, unfortunately. So they're going to get even more territory. But I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. We did get wounded, by the way, but we're okay. Um, yeah, hit that like and subscribe button if you guys haven't done already. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So till then, you guys have a good one, and bye for now.